Hey guys, this is Steph from Textures, and you're watching Metal 1E. All right, Fernando, uh, we are at the O2 with LinkedIn today for Textures. Um, so you've been on tour with Amorphis for the last couple of days now. Uh, what was the response from uh, Dublin and uh, Wolverhampton? Wolverhampton uh, and Dublin. Uh, well, actually, it was quite different in Ireland. The response was really great. In Wolverhampton, the people had to get used to it. Uh, Amorphis is a, uh, an older band that we are. They have older fans, and most yeah. of the fans had to get used to it to, to all the roughness, blast beats, and weird uh, time signatures and all that stuff. Uh, but it was great, and uh, people love it in the end. So uh, it's cool. It's cool to have the to, to be on tour. It's uh, very organized here, and it's good to be on this one. Mm -hmm. Was it your first time in Dublin as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morpheus was, yeah, yeah. was the first first show for them there. So. Oh yeah, definitely. But for for us as well, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the response was really uh, great. Actually, uh, different from UK, but Ireland is not UK, of mm -hmm. course. But maybe we most people consider it as the same part. Although we know it's not part of. And uh, people are were quite, well, kind of different, and response was a bit different, a bit better. I'm sorry for you, UK guys, but uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, how many songs did you play from your new album, uh, Phenotype? The show you on the done? shows. Uh, well, depends if we have 40 or 50 minutes set. But we play um, four or five songs. So half the set is from the new album. Okay. Uh, also. Uh, our new uh, video clip, a new single, uh, yeah. Since you still are on the tour for, for the months now, is there any specific city or venue you're ex excited about it? To play? On this tour you mean, yeah, the, we have like 27 shows in a row. Um, there is um, some special countries we're actually looking forward to, uh, countries like Romania, Bulgaria, Hunger, Hungary. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we played there once actually in Hungary, uh, Hungary. And um, what's your, yeah, Italy. We never played in Rome, for God's sake. Mm -hmm. So um, we're looking forward to to those cities uh, like Bucharest, Sofia, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. uh, Fana, obviously loving your new album. Uh, you're embracing your your mat metal root as well. Um, even though the music is still complex and uh, contains plenty of adventurous songwriting, there are certain flamboyant vibes to it, so is there something intentional? Intentional? Yeah. Like new? No, not, <laughs> not specifically. We just write music the way we like. Uh, and our fans have to be lucky maybe if, if, it's, if, if we put out metal, because we also have a very much of a soul kind of vibe, mm -hmm. like a uh, soul music, Otis Redding. Uh, but of course that is not our output. Our output is to do that in a metal way, a progressive, modern kind of metal. Yeah. Um, on this album, finally, it, uh, we it, it, in the end it looks like a mixture of old material and new material. More rough, uh, like the old material, and more song-based, like the, the newer uh, material that was on the albums Dualism and, uh, and Silhouette. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of a mixture of of it all, but it's not intentional. We just want to make good music, and we'll see what comes out. Yeah. You know, so yeah. Uh, the guitar are quite awesome. Uh, tone is crisp, gent as uh, anything. Um, so, did you guys play around with any digital processors? Yeah, but uh, yeah, we not not in the studio. Live we do mm -hmm. nowadays. Only since the last uh, twenty shows, we work with uh, Camper uh, amps. Simulation amps, uh, but not in the studio. But I'm not the right guy to ask this because I'm the drummer, I'm not involved in the in the studio process. I like yeah. this. I'm involved in songwriting and other stuff in the band, but not in this uh, studio work. So how different was the approach this time compared to the previous albums? Yeah, well, of course, on this album, uh, uh, Daniel. No, I have to say it different. Daniel, our vocalist, uh, it's his second album with with us actually and at the previous album dualism he didn't really write material with us yeah some songs but not all of it he was new in the band and he had to get used to the way we write and you know he had to um, get a new kind of awareness of his vocal range with us bec because he was singing in another, in another band 
This album, Phenotype, he was uh, working with us all the way. So um, the output you can hear on the album is really 100% Daniel. And he wanted to go all the way, like from, he just wanted to touch every single part of his vocal register. And that's what you can hear. And a lot of compliments from me to him because he is really going nuts on this record. I don't know any single any singer in in Western Europe that can uh, maybe come close to his screams and his soulful, pure, clean vocals. And then his grunts, and he can you know do it every day. You have to know <laughs> that before he goes on stage, he never warms up. He's just like, right. oh yeah. Okay, there's another show coming up, and then he walks the stairs to the stage, you know, without warming up, and then he's performing like 100%. And after one hour or one and a half hours, he's just like, okay, let's go for one other song. You know, while I'm tired already as a mm -hmm. drummer, he's just like, okay. Okay, yeah. You know, while going all the way with his vocals. It's still bizarre to me how he just is capable of doing that. Mm -hmm. So Texture still doesn't use traditional sound structure in favor of uh, much more adventurous composition. I always feel you guys feel every song with plenty of various influences. Uh, tracks like uh, Illuminate the Trail being an example. So how diverse are your influences? Yeah, very diverse. It, 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 actually, this is now not a real topic because we listen to everything in any style. We actually don't think in styles anymore, you know, like if you're a teenager, you're very much like, uh, have you, do you have this new death metal record? Or do you like this new pop record from America? It or, is classified, yeah, I mean. You know, yeah. but when you get older and when you listen to so much music, it all falls away. It's just good music or mm -hmm. bad music. We listen to everything. Um, uh, everything you can mention, literally. And um, this, the songs that we write are a reflection, of course, but a more specific reflection because you cannot hear the uh, s not much of a singer songwriter input in our music. Stuff that I like to listen to, and Daniel as well, and Remco. You cannot hear the pop kind of way we you know that we listen to yeah. but you can hear soundtrack music in our music you can hear some classical elements you can hear of course 70s prog in our music of course but um, it's hard to say from the beginning of textures people asked us man your style goes in any direction what's it about and we're just like yeah that's what we listen to you know like and it's even more than that so yeah, if you want a recommendation, by the way, for a good album that is kind of like Textures, but then more in a pop variation, a very eclectic album, eclectic in the way that it's, it's with all kinds of various styles put mm -hmm. on that one album. It's The Deer Hunter with their new album Rebirth, act number four. Fucking great. It's, uh, it's, there is some pop elements, musical elements, prog elements. And even some hard rock kind of thing, uh, classical stuff, some uh, klezmer, Eastern Europe kind of thing, mm -hmm. goes in all directions and still very much the deer hunter. And I think one guy composes it the most. He's, he must be a genius. <coughs> have to listen to that. Um, so two instrumental tracks, uh, Menda and Zman. Yeah. Uh, how did they come about those songs? Uh, the, the idea of Zman was uh, coming from Uri, the s our synth, synth and piano player. He just came up with the whole track. He showed it to us and we were like, let's get this entirely on the new album. Mm -hmm. the, that song was based on a part that Remco, our bass player, played or came up with on classical guitar. The very basics in quintuplet kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Uri stole that and used the basics of Ranko's stuff on his piano and he wrote a piece for it. A sort of kind of Jan Thielsen kind of thing, you know, yeah. like a movie or a soundtrack. Philip Glass kind of thing. After that, we wrote the song uh, Timeless with the basics of Zaman. 
So now it's actually a double piece, zaman and timeless. Yeah. Zaman means actually time in Hebrew. Okay. And timeless, of course, well, you know what it means. But that's how the song came together. Hmm. Meander was a drum part. I had the, the idea for it already in 2008. And I just had to work it out. The whole idea was just there. And finally we had the time to do it. Um, I asked Mario from Gojira and uh, um, Matt Halpern from, uh, from Periphery to play along. Finally, it didn't work out. We didn't have enough time. Mm -hmm. Maybe we work it out on a video. Maybe I'd like to That's do it once. That's amazing. Yeah, because, these, to see. because these guys already agreed with playing along. Okay. So let's see what happens. So is there, yeah, those two songs came uh, after the other songs were completed. Yeah, because those two makes uh, the album very cohesive. Yeah, but this yeah it. Zaman was not written last, but uh, uh, by accident, Meander was yeah. written after uh, Erosion. The other part of Meander, actually, yeah. with played with a full band. Yeah. Perfect. Um, how do you guys feel about the term gems? Uh, prog metal usually have a very interesting view on that. So, what are your thoughts? The gent is very, the style gent is actually based on the sound that the guitars make. Most of the guys played with 8 string, we still play with 7 string. Mm -hmm. um, we still, we exist actually before the term even existed. The term came up when our third or fourth record was, uh, was done. And most people hate the term nowadays. But then they overlook the fact that there is a lot of talented people in that scene and most bands bands like Tesseract periphery yeah. go their own you know they have their own specific sound nowadays especially Tesseract to me actually is kind of evolving from away from this genty kind of sound which is great we all started out you know in a sort of same league mm -hmm. putting well we all had the same kind of influences but we all go in different directions. Yeah, you're going to reaching yeah. Back, yeah. I always consider Texas as the least gen of them all. Although on the new record we have some riffs which are related to that. I can't deny. Well, we like to do that. And actually on our first album, Polars, from 2003, and we started writing in 2001, there were erect already gen riffs. Mm -hmm. While the term came up in 2000 and 10 or so, 10 years later. Yeah. What can I say? <laughs> um, what about the touring guys? Uh, doing the tour with uh, Amorphis, any other tour plan? Anything coming up after that? We're busy, well, well this tour lasts a month. After that, we're going to breathe a little bit. Uh, we're going to do some shows with Fear Factory in Scandinavia. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do summer festivals all around Europe and some more uh, separate gigs, for instance in Dunkirk, in, uh, in France, yeah. some shows in, uh, in Holland, Germany probably, and uh, I think at the end of the year, finally, India. India is always special to us, mm -hmm. because it was, uh, the country just treated us really well, and we, every time we have a very warm welcome there by thousands of people, it's a bit different from us to Europe, but it feels great. And we love the Indian culture, most of it. Um, and we like to go there, definitely. So um, that's the plan for, for this year. Um, we also have to work out our brother, sister kind of record, Genotype, mm -hmm. which is related to our just released Phenotype. And Genotype will be released next year already. So two albums in two years, okay. uh, but we still have to uh, finish the album. So that's what we're going to do this year. Mm -hmm. Probably um, USA will follow late this year or probably next year in spring or winter. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time.